Hello everyone, I am Prakya Jain, Assistant Professor, Department of Mechanical Engineering, HIT Mangalore. Today I am going to discuss about Module 4 of Fluid Mechanics, that is Class 8, Continued Portion of Dimensional Analysis. So, Syllabus, Buckingham Pi Theorem, Problems. So, first problem, using Buckingham's Pi Theorem, show that the velocity through a circular orifice is given by V equal to square root of 2GH pi of d by h comma mu divided by rho v h where h is the head causing the flow d is the diameter of the orifice mu is coefficient of viscosity or dynamic viscosity rho is mass density or density and g is acceleration due to gravity this was a question asked in December 2018, Jan 2019 and December 2016 and Jan 2017 as you can see here they told to solve the problem using Buckingham Pi theorem Otherwise, this left to you, you can go with Rayleigh method or Buckingham's Pi theorem. So, here they specifically mention using Buckingham Pi theorem. So, I have to go for Buckingham Pi theorem only. So, expression is given as V equal to square root of 2GH pi of uh, D divided by H comma mu divided by rho VH where G is acceleration due to gravity, H is head, then uh, D is the diameter, then mu is dynamic viscosity, rho is density, V is velocity. So, this problem is related to circular orifice. So, given V is a, a function of H D mu rho and G. So, is a, V is a dependent parameter we, as we can see from the expression. We have to get expression for V. So, V is dependent on H D mu rho and G. So, we can write expression for dependent variable as a function of independent variable that is v equal to f of h comma d comma mu comma rho comma g or that can be rewritten as f1 of v comma h comma d comma mu comma rho comma g equal to 0 take it as expression 1 therefore total number of variable starting from v till uh, g we have 6 variable therefore n equal to 6 writing dimension of each variable uh, so we have to write dimension for each variable independent as well as dependent variables so we have for velocity velocity as we know it is distance by time so meter per second is a unit so uh, dimension becomes lt to the power minus 1 then height that is measured in meter so dimension becomes capital letter l similarly diameter that is measured in meter so dimension is l then dynamic viscosity unit is newton second per meter square so we can get uh, uh, dimension for Newton using Newton second law of motion that is F equal to m a. So kg meter s to the power minus 2 we can replace in place of Newton and we can get uh, uh, dimension for mu as m l to the power minus 1 t to the power minus 1. Similarly for density that is given by mass by volume so m l to the power minus 3. Then acceleration due to gravity that is written as unit meter per second square. So dimension becomes Lt to the power minus 2. So as we can see here in different variables like in velocity we have L and T dimension. In H we have L, D we have L and mu we have M, L and T. Rho we have M and L and in G we have L and T. So number of fundamental dimension that is M equal to 3. Therefore, number of pi terms from Buckingham's pi theorem, we have expression n minus n. So, n is 6 here and m is 3. 6 minus 3, that is 3. So, we have to get 3 expression for 3 pi terms. So, equation 2, 1 can be rewritten as f1 of pi 1 comma pi 2 comma pi 3, that is equal to 0. So, we can classify or categorize or we can group that variables into 3 pi terms that is pi 1, pi 2, pi 3. So, f1 of pi 1 comma pi 2 comma pi 3 that is equal to 0. Take it as expre expression 2. Each of pi term contains m plus 1 variable. So, where m is number of fundamental dimension. So, each pi term should contain m plus 1 variable. So, m is 3 here, 3 plus 1 that is 4 variable. So, out of 4 variables, 3 are repeating variable. So, number of repeating variables should be equal to number of fundamental dimension. So, number of fundamental dimension is 3. So, repeating variable also should be 3 here. So, now we have to select repeating variable. There is a procedure for se selecting repeating variable. First repeating variable should correspond to geometric property. Second one should correspond to flow property. 
third one corresponds to fluid property now we can see here for geometric property there's a first repeating variable we have d and h d is the diameter h is the head but when we see the expression for velocity that is v equal to square root of 2 gh phi of d by h comma mu divided by rho vh so h term is repeating so repeating variable means it should repeat so you can see here h is repeating d is not repeating d d d by h only in d by h we have d term other than that in almost all terms like root 2 gh there is h again d by h there is h and mu divided by rho vh we have h so we have to select h as repeating variable corresponds to geometric property so uh, in previous problem and all we used to give importance or preference to diameter but we can see the expression here h is repeating so we have to select h as repeating variable next one should correspond to flow property there is velocity so velocity cannot be selected as repeating variable as it is a dependent parameter or dependent variable so next preference can be given to acceleration due to gravity that is g because there is no omega angular velocity and there is no n so next preference should be given to acceleration due to gravity so g is selected as next repeating variable that corresponds to flow property then third repeating variable that that should corresponds to uh, 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 fluid property so we have rho and mu here so density and dynamic viscosity preference should be given to density as this is not viscous flow if it is viscous flow then we have to give importance to viscosity that is mu so here rho can be selected as third repeating variable that corresponds to fluid property so selecting h g rho as repeating variable we have three pi terms as pi one we can write expressions for pi pi terms pi one equal to s to the power a one g to the power b one rho to the power c one into v pi two equal to s to the power a two g to the power b two rho to the power c two into d pi three equal to s to the power a three g to the power b three rho to the power c three into mu so uh, where a one b one c one a two b two c two a3 b3 c3 those are exponents so let's go for getting expression for first pi term that is represented by pi1 so substituting dimensions on both sides of pi1 we have expression for pi1 as pi1 equal to s to the power a1 into g to the power b1 into rho to the power c1 into v so we can substitute dimension we already wrote x uh, have written dimension for each variable so m to the power 0 l to the power 0 t to the power 0 as pi 1 is dimensionless so that is equal to l to the power a1 l t to the power minus 2 to the power b1 into m l to the power minus 3 to the power c1 into l t to the power minus 1 so l t to the power minus 1 is the dimension for velocity so now next step equating powers of m l and t on both sides first equating power of m we have m to the power 0 on left hand side and m to the power c1 on right hand side so 0 equal to c1 therefore c1 equal to 0 so that is the value of c1 next equating the power of l l to the power 0 on left hand side l to the power a1 l to the power b1 l to the power minus 3 c1 and l to the power 1 on right hand side so 0 equal to a1 plus b1 minus 3 c1 plus 1 so we can get expression for a1 a1 equal to minus b1 plus 3 c1 minus 1 so next equating the power of t so t to the power 0 on left hand side t to the power minus 2 b1 and t to the power minus 1 on right hand side so i can write expression as 0 equal to minus 2 b1 minus 1 so from this i can get value of b1 so just taking minus 2b1 to the other side so it becomes positive 2b1 equal to minus 1 therefore b1 equal to minus 1 by 2 now we have values of b1 and c1 b1 equal to minus 1 by 2 c1 equal to 0 so i can substitute b1 and c1 in expression for a1 so that is a1 equal to minus b1 plus 3c1 minus 1 so c1 value is any of 0 you can just neglect so minus b1 minus into minus 1 by 2 minus 1 so minus into minus 1 by 2 that becomes positive 1 by 2 minus 1 that is equal to minus 1 by 2 so a1 value is minus 1 by 2 c1 value is 0 b1 value is minus 1 by 2 substituting values of a1 b1 and c1 in pi 1 
so we get pi1 equal to s to the power minus 1 by 2 g to the power minus 1 by 2 rho to the power 0 into v so that is equal to v divided by s to the power 1 by 2 g to the power 1 by 2 as h to the power minus 1 by 2 g to the power minus 1 by 2 that goes to denominator and becomes positive that is s to the power 1 by 2 g to the power 1 by 2 so that is equal to v divided by taking power common for both the terms because both h and g has power 1 by 2 so hg to the power 1 by 2 so power 1 by 2 means it is a square root so that is equal to v divided by square root of hg or square root of gh so that is the expression for pi 1 term next second pi term that is represented by pi 2 so expression for pi 2 pi 2 equal to s to the power a2 g to the power b2 rho to the power c2 into t now substituting dimensions on both sides of pi 2 m to the power 0 l to the power 0 t to the power 0 that is equal to l to the power a2 l t to the power minus 2 to the power b2 m l to the power minus 3 to the power c2 into l so l is the dimension for diameter then equating the powers of m l and t on both sides first let's go for equating the power of m so m to the power 0 on left hand side m to the power c2 on right hand side so 0 equal to c2 therefore c2 value is 0 only then equating the power of l so l to the power 0 on left hand side l to the power a2 l to the power b2 l to the power minus 3 c2 l to the power 1 on right hand side so 0 equal to a2 plus b2 minus 3 c2 plus 1 so i can write expression for a2 as a2 equal to minus b2 plus 3 c2 minus 1 so next equating the power of t t to the power 0 on left hand side t to the power minus 2 b2 on, and uh, minus 2 b2 on right hand side so 0 equal to minus 2 b2 therefore b2 equal to 0 so i have values of b2 and c2 equal to 0 so i can substitute b2 and c2 in expression for a2 that is a2 equal to minus b2 plus 3 c2 minus 1 so b2 value is 0 0 plus 3 into 0 that is again 0 minus 1 so a2 value is minus 1 so a2 value is minus 1 b2 equal to 0 c2 equal to 0 so substituting the values of a2 b2 and c2 in pi 2 we get pi 2 equal to s to the power minus 1 g to the power 0 rho to the power 0 into d that is equal to d by h as s to the power minus 1 that becomes h to the power 1 when it goes to denominator so a1 value is minus 1 a2 value is minus 1 b2 value is 0 c2 value is 0 so expression for pi 2 is that is equal to d by h next third pi term represented by pi 3 so expression for pi 3 is pi 3 equal to s to the power a3 g to the power b3 rho to the power c3 into mu substituting dimensions on both sides of pi 3 so pi 3 is dimensionless so m to the power 0 l to the power 0 t to the power 0 that is equal to l to the power a3 l t to the power minus 2 to the power b3 m l to the power minus 3 to the power c3 into m l to the power minus 1 t to the power minus 1 as mu has dimension m l to the power minus 1 t to the power minus 1 then equating the powers of m l and t on both sides first equating the power of m so m to the power 0 on left hand side m to the power c3 m to the power 1 on right hand side so 0 equal to c3 plus 1 therefore c3 equal to minus 1 then equating the power of l l to the power 0 on left hand side l to the power a3 l to the power b3 l to the power minus 3 c3 l to the power minus 1 on right hand side so 0 equal to a3 plus b3 minus 3 c3 minus 1 therefore a3 equal to 3 c3 minus b3 plus 1 so next equating the power of t so equating the power of t t to the power 0 on left hand side t to the power minus 2 b3 and t to the power minus 1 on right hand side so uh, i can get expression as 0 equal to minus 2 b3 minus 1 2 b3 equal to minus 1 therefore b3 equal to minus 1 by 2 now i have values of 
C3 and B3, C3 equal to minus 1, B3 equal to minus 1 by 2. So I can substitute an expression for A3. So A3 equal to 3C3, that is 3 into minus 1, that is minus 3, minus B3 minus into minus 1 by 2 that is plus 1 by 2 plus 1. So that is equal to minus 3 plus 1 by 2 plus 1 that is equal to minus 3 by 2. So A3 value is minus 3 by 2, B3 value is minus 1 by 2, C3 value is minus 1. Now substituting values of A3, B3 and C3 in pi 3 we get pi 3 equal to h to the power minus 3 by 2, z to the power minus 1 by 2, rho to the power minus 1 into mu as values of a3, b3 and c3 is uh, are minus 3 by 2, minus 1 by 2, minus 1 respectively. So now I can rearrange uh, pi 3 equal to mu divided by s to the power 3 by 2 into g to the power 1 by 2 into rho. So um, s to the power minus 3 by 2, g to the power minus 1 by 2, rho to the power minus 1, 1 that becomes s to the power 3 by 2 rho, g to the power 1 by 2 when it goes to denominator. So that is equal to mu divided by, now we can see there, uh, there is 1 by 2, g to the power 1 by 2. So we can split s, s to the power 3 by 2 into h into s to the power 1 by 2 so that we can express the mass square root. So mu divided by h into h to the power 1 by 2 into g to the power 1 by 2 into rho. Now combining h to the power 1 by 2 g to the power 1 by 2 together. So that is equal to mu divided by h rho into g h to the power 1 by 2. So that is equal to mu divided by h rho square root of gh because gh to the power 1 by 2 is square root. So h rho into square root of gh. Now we can see in expression given expression we have to get mu divided by rho vh but we have mu divided by rho h or h rho so now missing term is capital letter v that is velocity so just multiply and divide by v so mu v divided by rho vh into square root of gh so that is equal to whatever the required term you just take out so required term is mu divided by rho vh into v divided by square root of hg or square root of gh now mu divided by rho h, what is v divided by square root of gh? That is pi 1. So mu divided by rho v h into pi 1. That is the expression for pi 3. I express pi 3 in terms of pi 1. Because required expression is mu divided by rho v h. So I made alteration or some simplification. Just multiplying and divide by d uh, v and uh, splitting of the s terms. That is h 3 by 2 into h and h to the power 1 by 2. So, so that in order to get that final expression mu divided by rho v h, so it, that is multiplied by v divided by square root of h g. So v divided by square root of h g is pi 1. So that is equal to mu divided by rho v h into pi 1. That is the expression for pi 3. Next substituting values of pi 1, pi 2, pi 3 in equation 2. So that is f1 of pi 1 comma pi 2 comma pi 3 equal to 0. So pi 1 value is v divided by square root of h g. Uh, then pi 2 value is d by h pi 3 value is mu divided by rho v h into pi 1. So f1 of mu uh, v divided by square root of h g comma d by h comma mu divided by rho v h into pi 1 equal to 0. So I want expression for velocity. So expressing pi 1 as a function of remaining pi terms. So v divided by square root of h g equal to function of d by h comma mu divided by rho v h into pi 1. So multiplication of pi 1 to any term or any dimensionless term that is that you can write or you can neglect that pi 1. So v equal to square root of 2 gh pi of d by h comma mu divided by rho v h. So that is the expression pi 1 is any of it is a function. So I neglected that pi 1 so d by h comma mu divided by rho v h because multiplication to any uh, factor or any uh, quantity by a dimensionless quantity that is not going to make any change. So d by h comma mu divided by rho v h. So multiplying by a constant does not change character of pi term. So that is the expression. This is unique problem. You have to see the velocity cannot be taken as dependent. Uh, it cannot be taken as repeating variable and diameter you have to see the here properly. H is repeating. So in place of diameter uh, to take h as repeating variable then g then rho. So this is the first problem. So next problem, prove that discharge over a spillway is given by relation using Buckingham's pi theorem. Q equal to Vd square F of 
square root of gd divided by b comma h by d where v is velocity of flow d equal to depth at the trough h equal to head of water g is acceleration due to gravity so we have to get expression for discharge over a spillway so expression is given they told to solve the problem uh, using buckingham pi theorem so q equal to vd square f of or pi of square root of gd divided by v comma h by d so where v is velocity d is diameter q is discharge or volumetric flow rate and h is the head so given q is function of v comma d comma g comma h therefore q equal to function of v d v comma d comma g comma h expressing dependent variable as a function of independent variables here v d g and h those are independent parameters of variables or that can be rewritten as f1 of q comma v comma d comma g comma h that is equal to 0 take it as expression 1 so starting with q ending with h we have in between uh, 5 variable so the number of variable n equal to 5 so q v d g and h so n equal to 5 next step writing dimension of each variable so dimension of q that is a unit is meter cube per second so dimension becomes l cube t to the power minus 1 then velocity l t to the power minus 1 then diameter that is l then acceleration due to gravity unit is meter s to the power minus 2 so l t to the power minus 2 is the dimension then h equal to l therefore number of fundamental dimensions so this is very important here q has l and t v has l and t d has l g has l and t and h has l so uh, there is m term is missing m fundamental dimension that is for mass that is missing therefore number of fundamental dimension m equal to 2 as there is no m in dimensions of above variable therefore number of pi terms from buckingham pi theorem n minus m so that is n is of uh, here 5 m is 2 so 5 minus 2 that is equal to 3 so that's the value of uh, pi number of pi terms so we have to get expression for three pi terms that is pi 1 pi 2 pi 3 so i can write expression 1 as a as like this f1 of pi 1 comma pi 2 comma pi 3 that is equal to 0 take it as expression 2 students you have to see here in dimension there is m is missing so number of fundamental dimensions that should be equal to 2 that is the very important thing in this problem so f1 of pi 1 comma pi 2 comma pi 3 that is equal to 0 take it as expression 2 next each of pi term contains m plus 1 variable this is similar to previous problem m plus 1 so m is 2 here 2 plus 1 so 2 plus 1 is 3, 3 number of variable so pi term should contain 3 variable out of 3 variable number of repeating variable should be equal to number of fundamental dimension number of fundamental dimension it is 2 here so repeating variable also should be equal to 2 so choosing d and v as repeating variable so we can see the problem here so we have for a geometric property diameter and head diameter is repeating here v d square in v d square d is repeating square root of g d there is d and h by d again d so d can be selected as geometric variable so geometric uh, or geometric uh, repeating variable first repeating variable then second one that should corresponds to that corresponds to flow property so velocity and uh, there is a acceleration due to gravity so importance can be given to velocity so v can be selected as second repeating variable and third repeating variable as we can see from problem m equal to t uh, 2 so number of repeating variable also should be equal to 2 otherwise you can check the problem there is no mu or rho in this problem fluid property is missing so that means number uh, you can from that also you can judge m equal to 2 so that, that uh, we should have only two repeating variable here so choosing v and choosing v and uh, uh, what is that a d, v, a d and v as repeating variable we have three pi terms so pi 1 equal to d to the power a1 v to the power b1 into q pi 2 equal to d to the power a2 v to the power b2 into g pi 3 equal to d to the power a3 v to the power b3 into h so these are the expressions for three pi terms so first pi term that is represented by pi 1 so pi 1 equal to d to the power a1 v to the power b1 into into q so substituting dimensions on both sides of pi 1 l to the power 0 t to the power 0 here also you have to make modification 
and don't take m to the power 0 because it is missing in almost in like all the variables like independent and dependent variable so you need not take m to the power 0 in a pi term also so l to the power 0 t to the power 0 that is equal to l to the power a1 into l t to the power minus 1 to the power b1 into l cube t to the power minus 1 l cube t to the power minus 1 is a dimension for discharge or volumetric flow rate now next step equating the powers of l and t on both sides so first so here also you need not go for equating the power of m it, so because it is missing in all independent and dependent variable so just equating the powers of l and t on both sides so power of l so l to the power 0 on left hand side l to the power a1 l to the power b1 l to the power 3 on the right hand side so 0 equal to a1 plus b1 plus 3 therefore a1 equal to minus b1 minus 3 so next equating the power of t t to the power 0 on left hand side t to the power minus b1 t to the power minus 1 on right hand side therefore 0 equal to minus b1 minus 1 therefore b1 value is minus 1 so i can substitute b1 equal to minus 1 in expression for a1 so a1 equal to minus b1 minus 3 so 1 minus 3 that is minus 2 there's a value of a1 so a1 equal to minus 2 b1 equal to minus 1 now substituting values of a1 comma b1 in pi 1 we get pi 1 equal to d to the power minus 2 v to the power minus 1 into q so as a1 and a2 values are minus 2 and minus 1 respectively so pi d to the power minus 2 v to the power minus 1 into q that is equal to q divided by d square v as d to the, d to the power minus 2 v to the power minus 1 when it goes to denominator it becomes d, d square v, v into v to the power 1 so pi 1 equal to q divided by d square v that is the expression for first pi term next second pi term that is represented by pi 2 so pi 2 equal to d to the power a2 v to the power b2 into g substituting dimensions on both sides of pi 2 l to the power 0 t to the power 0 that is equal to l to the power a2 into l t to the power minus 1 to the power b2 into l t to the power minus 2 so l t to the power minus 2 is a dimension for acceleration due to gravity that is g then equating the powers of l and t on both sides first equating power of l l to the power 0 on left hand side l to the power a2 l to the power b2 l to the power 1 on right hand side so 0 equal to a2 plus b2 plus 1 therefore a2 equal to minus b2 minus 1 then equating the power of t t to the power 0 on uh, left hand side t to the power minus 1 minus b2 and t to the power minus 2 on right hand side so 0 equal to minus b2 minus 1 therefore b2 equal to minus 1 therefore a2 value is 1 and b2 value is uh, so i can substitute b2 value in a2 so a2 equal to minus b2 minus 1 b2 value is minus 2 minus into minus that becomes plus 2 minus 1 so 2 minus 1 that is 1 so a2 value equal to 1 b2 equal to minus 1 substituting the values of a2 b2 in pi2 we get pi2 equal to d to the power 1 as a a2 value is 1 v to the power minus 2 as b2 value is minus 2 into g so that is equal to gd divided by v square so that is the expression for second pi term or pi2 next third pi term that is pi3 so expression for pi3 is pi3 equal to d to the power a3 v to the power b3 into h substituting dimensions on both sides of pi3 l to the power 0 t to the power 0 that is equal to l to the power a3 l t to the power minus 1 to the power b3 into l so l is a dimension for head so here also don't take equating the powers of m because it is missing in independent as well as dependent variable so equating powers of l and t on both sides first equating the power of l so l to the power 0 on left hand side l to the power b1 and l to the power 1 on right hand side so 0 equal to a3 plus b3 plus 1 therefore a3 equal to minus b3 minus 1 then equating the power of t t to the power 0 on left hand side t to the power minus b3 on right hand side therefore uh, 0 equal to minus b3 therefore b3 equal to 0 so i can substitute b3 value in a3 so a3 equal to minus b3 minus 1 0 minus 1 that is minus 1 so a3 value equal to minus 1 b3 equal to 0 now substituting values of a3 b3 in pi 3 we get pi 3 equal to d to the power minus 1 v to the power 0 into h that is equal to h by d so d to the power minus 1 that becomes d to the power 1 when it goes to denominator so expression for pi 3 is h by d now next step 
substituting the values of pi1 and pi2 and pi3 in equation second that is f1 of pi1 comma pi2 comma pi3 equal to 0 so i want expression for uh, q that is discharge so q divided by d square v expressing pi1 as a function of remaining two pi terms that is f of pi2 comma pi3 so q divided by d square v equal to f of or phi of gd divided by v square comma h by d now uh, that is now pi2 we can see the given expression is square root of gd divided by uh, v so we can take square root for pi2 term so now pi2 equal to gd divided by v square can be replaced by square root of pi2 so we can take square root of the dimensionless term so that is, that is not going to change the value of that or the function of that term so we can just take square root of that pi2 pi2 equal to square root of gd divided by v square square root of gd is root gd divided by square root of v square is v so equal to square root of gd divided by v so q equal to multiplying d square v or to right hand side so q equal to d square v function of or phi of square root of gd divided by v comma h by d here one modification you are supposed to do is in terms of uh, uh, for pi2 term pi2 term is like you have to replace pi2 by square root of pi2 that is the thing required here so using next problem using buckingham's pi theorem show that discharge q consumed by an oil ring is given by q equal to nd cube phi of so mu divided by rho n d square comma sigma divided by rho n square d cube comma w divided by rho n square d where d is the internal diameter of the ring n is the rotational speed sigma is density mu is viscosity sigma is surface tension so rho is uh, uh, mu is viscosity sigma is surface tension and w is specific weight of oil so we have to get expression for discharge again here that is consumed by an oil ring so again this is using buckingham pi theorem so q is given as function of uh, uh, q equal to nd cube phi of mu divided by rho n d square comma sigma divided by rho n square d cube comma w divided by rho n square d so q is a function of d n rho mu sigma and w sigma is surface tension and w is specific weight of oil that is equal to rho g so therefore q equal to f of d comma n comma rho comma mu comma sigma comma w expressing dependent variable as a function of independent variable or f1 of q comma d comma n comma rho comma mu comma sigma comma w equal to 0 taking the taking it as expression 1 therefore total number of variable n equal to 7 writing dimension of each variable dimension of q that is discharge or volumetric flow rate so meter cube per second is a unit so dimension becomes l cube t to the power minus 1 then for diameter it is l and n that is rpm revolution per minute revolution has no unit so minute is the unit of time so minute inverse that is that becomes dimension for n becomes t to the power minus 1 then density ml to the power minus 3 mu dynamic viscosity ml to the power minus 1 t to the power minus 1 then surface tension this is very important force acting per unit length so force unit is newton per means it is divided by meter so newton by meter that is a unit of surface tension so surface tension so dimension can be obtained by writing dimension for n that is for newton and as well as writing dimension for meter so newton it is obtained from f equal to ma so i can write write directly sigma equal to mt to the power minus 2 so because unit is newton per meter i already explained about this thing uh, in first uh, first video so you can just uh, refer that table so unit is newton per meter so w specific weight that is given by w unit is newton per meter cube or w equal to rho g so density multiplied by acceleration due to gravity density has unit kg per meter cube and acceleration due to gravity has unit meter into s to the power minus 2 so upon com combining rho and g you can get expression for or dimension for w otherwise you can use directly newton per meter cube that is the alternate unit so therefore number of fundamental dimension so we can see here q as l and t d as l n equal uh, for n and it is t rho m and l and mu m l and t sigma it is m and t and w has m l and t so uh, number of uh, fundamental dimension m equal to 3 so number of pi terms from buckingham pi theorem n minus m so n is 7 7 minus 3 because the number of fundamental dimension is 3 7 minus 3 equal to 4 now equation 1 can be grouped into 4 pi terms 
as so pi one f of f one of pi one comma pi two comma pi three comma pi four equal to zero. Take it as expression two. Next, each of pi term contains m plus one variable. So m is three here, three plus one variable that is four variable. So out of four variable, number of repeating variable should be equal to number of fundamental dimension. So number of repeating variable is uh, uh, equal to number of fundamental dimension. Number of fundamental dimension is three here. So number of repeating variable also should be equal to three. So now the important thing you have to select repeating variable. First one geometric property. Second one should corresponds to a flow property. Third one fluid property. So we can see here. So uh, first geometric property there is D. Diameter. So there's there's a only one parameter available for uh, geometric property. So selecting D as first repeating variable corresponds to geometric property. Then second one flow property. We can see there there is no velocity. There is no omega. Uh, so we have n there. So n is repeating n n n in mu also mu divided by rho n d square sigma div uh, divided by rho n square d cube w divided by rho n square d also n is repeating. So we can select n as Second repeating variable that corresponds to flow property. Now third uh, third repeating variable should correspond to a, a fluid property. So there is sigma, there is w and uh, sig uh, sigma w and rho. So importance should be given to uh, sigma. Otherwise you can see that sigma is repeating in in inside the bracket like mu divided by rho n d square. Sigma divided by rho n square d cube, w divided by rho n square d. So everywhere it sigma is there. So based upon that also you can select repeating variable. So we can di directly see from problem itself d is repeating inside the bracket. I again n is repeating, sigma is repeating. So selecting d, n, and rho as repeating variable. So expression for four pi terms can be written as like this. Pi one equal to d to the power a one, n to the power b one, into rho to the power c one, into q. Pi two equal to d to the power a two, n to the power b two, into rho to the power c two, into mu. Pi three equal to d to the power a three, n to the power b three, into rho to the power c three, into sigma. Pi four equal to d to the power a four, n to the power b four, rho to the power c four, into small letter w. So first pi term that is represented by pi one. So pi one equal to d to the power a one, n to the power b one. Rho to the power c1 into q. So writing dimension on both sides of pi1. Yeah, pi1 is dimensionless. So m to the power zero, l to the power zero, t to the power zero equal to l to the power a1, t to the power minus one to the power b1, and l to the power minus three to the power c1. L cube t to the power minus one. L cube t to the power minus one is dimension for discharge. That is q. Next, equating the powers of m, l, and t on both sides. So first, equating the power of m. So m to the power zero on left hand side, m to the power c c one on right hand side. Zero equal to c one, therefore c one equal to zero. Then equating the power of l. So l to the power zero on left hand side, l to the power a one, l to the power minus three c one, l cube on right hand side. Therefore zero equal to a one minus three c one plus three. Therefore a one equal to three c one minus three. So that is uh, we can just uh, uh, simplify that expression for a one. A one equal to three c one minus three. C one value is zero. So three into zero that is zero minus three. So a one value is minus three. Then equating the power of t. So we have t to the power zero on left hand side. T to the power minus b one. T to the power minus one on right hand side. Zero equal to minus b one minus one. Therefore b one equal to minus one. Now we have values of b one. That is equal to minus one. A one equal to minus three. C one equal to zero. Substituting values of A one, B one, and C one in pi one, we get pi one equal to d to the power minus three, n to the power minus one into rho to the power zero into q. So that is equal to q divided by d cube into n. So that is the expression for first pi term. So second pi term that is represented by pi two. So pi two equal to d to the power a two, n to the power b two, rho to the power c two. Into mu. So substituting dimensions on both sides of pi two, m to the power zero, l to the power zero, t to the power zero equal to l to the power a two, t to the power minus one to the power b two, m l to the power minus three to the power c two into m l to the power minus one t to the power minus one. Equating powers of m l and t on both sides. First, equating the power of m. So m to the power zero on left hand side, m to the power c two, m to the power one on right hand side. So zero equal to c two plus one, therefore c two equal to minus one. Then equating the power of l, l to the power zero on left hand side. 
L to the power a2, L to the power minus 3c2, L to the power minus 1 on right hand side. So 0 equal to a2 minus 3c2 minus 1. Therefore a2 equal to 3c2 plus 1, c2 value is minus 1. So 3 into minus 1 that is minus 3 plus 1 that is equal to minus 2. Then equating power of t, so t to the power 0 on left hand side, t to the power minus b2, t to the power minus 1 on right hand side. Therefore, 0 equal to minus b2 minus 1. Therefore, b2 equal to minus 1. Therefore, a2 equal to minus 2, b2 equal to minus 1, c2 equal to minus 1. Substituting in pi2, we get pi2 equal to d to the power minus 2, n to the power minus 1, rho to the power minus 1 into mu. So, that is equal to mu divided by d square n rho. So, that is the expression for second pi term or pi2. Next, third pi term represented by pi3. So, expression for pi3 is pi3 equal to d to the power a3, n to the power b3, rho to the power c3 into sigma. Sigma is their surface tension. So, substituting dimensions on both sides of pi3. So, m to the power 0, l to the power 0, t to the power 0, that is equal to l to the power a3, t to the power minus 1 to the power b3, m l to the power minus 3 to the power c3 into m, to the, m into t to the power t to the power minus 2. So, m into t to the power minus 2 is the dimension for sigma. Then equating powers of m, l and t on both sides. First equating power of m. So, m to the power 0 on left hand side m to the power c3 and m to the power 1 on right hand side. Therefore, uh, 0 equal to c3 plus 1, c3 equal to minus 1. Next, equating power of L. So, L to the power 0 on left hand side, L to the power a3, L to the power minus 3 c3 uh, on right hand side. So, 0 equal to a3 minus 3 c3. So, therefore, a3 equal to 3 c3. c3 value is minus 1, 3 into minus 1, that is minus 3. Then, equating power of t, t to the power 0 on left hand side, t to the power minus b3, t to the power minus 2 on right hand side. So, 0 equal to b3 minus 2, therefore b3 equal to minus 2. So, a3 value is minus 3, b3 value is minus 2 and c3 value is minus 1. Now, substituting values of a3, b3 and c3 in pi3, we get pi3 equal to d to the power minus 3, n to the power minus 2, rho to the power minus 1 into sigma. So, that is equal to sigma divided by n square d cube into rho. So, there is an expression for pi3. Next, last or uh, fourth pi term that is represented by pi4. Pi4 equal to d to the power a4, n to the power b4, rho to the power c4, into small letter w. Students don't get confused with capital letter w. Capital letter w is uh, that is equal to mg, mass into acceleration due to gravity. Here it is small letter uh, w, so it is specific weight. So that is equal to rho into g. Just remember, uh, if it is confusing, means you can take specific weight as gamma. Gamma equal to rho into g. So, substituting dimensions on both sides of pi4, so m to the power 0, l to the power 0, t to the power 0 equal to l to the power a4, t to the power minus 1 to the power b4, ml to the power minus 3 to the power c4 into ml to the power minus 2, t to the power minus 2. Equating powers of m, l and t on both sides. First, equating power of m, m to the power 0 on left hand side, m to the power c4, m to the power 1 on right hand side. Therefore, 0 equal to c4 plus 1, c4 equal to minus 1. Then equating the power of L, L to the power 0 on left hand side, L to the power a4, L to the power minus 3c4, L to the power minus 2 on right hand side. So, 0 equal to a4 minus 3c4 minus 2. Therefore, a4 equal to 3c4 plus 2. c4 value is minus 1, 3 into minus 1 plus 2, minus 3 plus 2 that is equal to minus 1. Then equating the power of t, t, t to the power 0 on left hand side, t to the power minus b4 and t to the power minus 2 on right hand side. So, 0 equal to minus b4 minus 2. Therefore, b2, b4 equal to minus 2. So, b4 equal to minus 2, a4 equal to minus 1, c4 equal to minus 1. So now, substituting the values of a4, b4 and c4 in pi4, we get pi4 equal to d to the power minus 1 n to the power minus 2, rho to the power minus 1 into w. So, as values of a4 is, mi uh, a4 is uh, minus 1, b4 is minus 2, c4 is minus 1. So, w divided by d n square rho. Now, substituting values of pi1, pi2, pi3 and pi4 in equation 2. That is f1 of pi1, comma pi2, comma pi3, comma pi4 equal to 0. So, f1 of q divided by d cube by n as pi1 value is q divided by d cube by n pi2 is mu divided by d square n rho, or pi3 is sigma divided by n square d cube rho and pi4 is w divided by d n square rho. So, f1 of q divided by d cube n 
comma mu divided by d square n row, comma sigma divided by n square d cube row, comma w divided by d n square sigma equal to 0. Or we want expression for uh, discharge that is q. So expressing pi 1 as a function of remaining pi terms that is function of pi 2, pi 3 and pi 4. So q divided by d cube n equal to phi of our function of mu divided by d square n row, comma sigma divided by n square d cube sigma or uh, row sigma divided by n square d cube row comma w divided by d n square row so now we want expression for q just cross multiplying d cube n to right hand side so q equal to n d cube phi of mu divided by d square n row comma sigma divided by n square d cube uh, row comma w divided by d n square row so that is the expression for q here uh, the only the thing is you have to write properly know dimensions of sigma and w other than the, this everything is similar to a uh, previous problems so you need not get confused sigma and w have to remember dimensions or unit you can based on the unit you can derive dimensions or you can obtain dimensions of those those quantities so q equal to nd cube phi of mu divided by d square n row comma sigma divided by n square d cube row comma w divided by d n square row so that is the expression given expression you obtain it uh, uh, obtain same expression so this is the answer next assignment question for this video uh, first one assuming that rate of discharge q of a centrifugal pump is dependent upon mass density rho of fluid pump speed n in rpm the diameter of the impeller d the pressure p and viscosity of the fluid mu show using the buckingham pi theorem that the discharge can be represented by q equal to nd cube f of gs divided by n square d square comma mu divided by rho n d square so again here they mentioned to use buckingham pi theorem so i have to go for buckingham pi theorem only and it is easy method when compared to relic method so i have to get expression for discharge so unit of discharge is a meter cube per second n it is in rpm it is given in problem so dimension becomes t to the power minus 1 d it is in meter and uh, g that is acceleration due to gravity then h is head and uh, rho is density that is meter cube per kg kg per meter cube that is a unit of uh, uh, density so they told here they have like uh, in question you can see there the discharge is dependent upon mass density so sigma pump speed n then diameter d pressure p and mu so there's a there are, there's a, there are five quantities sigma n d pressure and mu so uh, you have to write q as a function of uh, rho comma n comma d comma p comma mu so number of variable equal to n equal to 6 here 6 minus 3 that you are going to get 3 pi terms here so here don't get confused it is in problem it is given it is dependent on the uh, sig rho and n and d and p and mu so it is not given it is dependent on g and h so so if you are going to take g and h also again as variable then you are going to end up with wrong expression so pressure it is instead of that pressure is given so you know what is pressure pressure is given by expression that is equal to p equal to rho g h finally after getting expression in terms of p uh, you just substitute in place of p as rho g h that is what required here don't take h and don't include h and g in uh, variable so if you are going to include a g and h in variable then you are going to get a, a, a number of variable equal to 8 8 minus 3 you are going to get 5 pi term 5 pi term you don't have that, that, that uh, type of problem in your syllabus so you have to remember here expression for pressure that is equal to rho g h so finally you can substitute in place of pressure uh, that is equal to rho g h then second problem using buckingham pi theorem show that the power developed by a hydraulic machine p equal to rho n cube d to the power phi f of or for phi of n square d square g h with usual notations for density rotational speed diameter of blades and working head so rho is density n is rpm d is diameter and h is head so g is acceleration due to gravity so here they didn't mention about dependency so you can directly take whatever the terms that is there in uh, expression that is first one is power then rho n d and g and h so those are the variables so you have to get uh, pi, uh, pi 1 pi 2 so number of variable here 1 2 3 4 and 5 and 6 6 minus 3 you are going to get 3 pi terms 
so 3 pi terms pi 1 pi 2 pi 3 then get expression for power then pi express uh, pi first pi term uh, pi 1 that is a function of pi, pi 1 as a function of pi 2 and pi 3 so then in order to get still you, you won't get that expression that is inside the bracket n square d square gh divided by gh so for that just multiply pi 2 and pi 3 inside the bracket so you are going to get n square d square divided by gh there is a modification required in this problem at final stage so just remember that uh, other than that everything is similar to previous problem so this is the end of your fourth module so in next video i am going to explain about uh, uh, laminar turbulent flow and fluid dynamics it, first i'll start with fluid dynamics then flow measuring devices in next video okay thank you